everyone. Thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. As always, check out that description below. I have links to my social media as well as any referral links or discount codes that I currently have access to. So today, as you can see, I've got Miss Maker here from the Happy Planner, but I have decided that I am switching over. So I've been using an Erin Condren um, Life Planner to do my um, regular daily planning. I was using the horizontal, if you've watched some of my previous plan with me's. And then I was also using the Erin Condren Monthly Deluxe for my social media planning. Well, the new Happy Girl Planner line came out and I absolutely fell in love and I have made the switch. So I have done Franken planning with the Miss Maker, the Super Mom, and the um, Socialite Planner. So today I'm gonna show you how I'm using pieces from all three of those collections to plan out my social media, my everyday life, and everything that I need in one planner. So as you can see here, I've got our beautiful Miss Maker cover that I have pulled. I've got my um, bestish mom little band that I got from the super mom collection and then I've got some rose gold rings that I picked up separately. So we'll take off that and we will go through how I'm going to be using this planner and all the little items I have pulled. Um, Let's see if I can adjust the camera. So I did use the Miss Maker envelopes. I've got two here in the front, a small and a medium sized one, or I guess it's the larger one. I figured I would use these for little small pieces of paper, sticker sheets, whatever I wanted to use in there. And then um, surprise, surprise, I do have a few items from the uh, Healthy Hero. I've got these monthly habit trackers. I've not placed them yet, so they are going to sit nicely in this little folder until I put them in my um, weekly views. I have my Miss Maker folder here, and then after that, um, I have the Super Mom um, cover sheet here, and I pulled that because I wanted this 2019 calendar here. Um, I like to make note of certain things in the calendar view, so I will be using this calendar for one thing, be it appointments or um, uh, anything kind of personal like that. And then over here, I have the socialite header because um, I wanted to pull this calendar to mark social events, be it weddings or anything like that. And then I also pulled this from the Socialite because this is perfect for pre-planning. Now this will be for anything. It can be a doctor appointment, it can be a wedding, it can be a baby shower, anything we have planned. Um, like I know that my fiance is going to do a trip. I will mark all of that down in here. And then I pulled this Tired as a Mother tab from Supermom. Now, I have not started planning in this yet. This is just me completely throwing together how I want to use these planners. Now, you're gonna see here which planners I decided to use the insides of, and um, there is one I did leave out, but that's okay, I will get use of it, even if I have to redate it later. So we've got our Socialite um, dashboard here for January, and we've got our Socialite tab. And what I am going to do for this is I've got the whole socialite set here. Here's Miss Maker again. Um, I am going to use this and I will divide these boxes up. Keep an eye out for a future plan with me where I show you how I am dividing these boxes up. But I'm thinking, you know, I'll do something along the lines of work, um, homework or schoolwork, um, fitness, um, social media, a daily chore and then maybe deco down here or something along those lines. I haven't quite decided yet. And then um, getting past this, all of this next section is going to be the socialite all the way until March. So we're going to flip past that. Didn't flip far enough. Um, so I've got another tab set up here. Again, Miss Maker. And I've got my Tired as a Mother folder here from Super Mom. This will be my catch-all for the next set of um, the planner. So I figured the first half is gonna be kind of a catch-all of everything. This next half is going to be a little bit more focused on um, my more personal things. 
So here we are doing the Super Mom. You've got your dashboard for the Super Mom for January. So you've got Mom's Master Plan, birthdays, notes, important dates. And then I have decided to use the Super Mom Planner as well. So I think for the monthly in the Super Mom, it will be like personal things like um, when we mowed, bath nights, um, period tracking, different things like that. So this might not show up in Plan With Me's, or it might show up as a general setup, but I don't think I will show the details of it since they will be a little bit more personal things. You all really don't need to know when we mowed our lawn or when we cleaned bedrooms or anything like that. So I might put that in here, and then the socialite might be more of like events of like zoo weekend, wedding, different things like that. I haven't quite decided. So I will be using that. Here we've got our super mom tab, and I figure over here I will do my budget tracking as well in the monthly view for the super mom. Again, it's a little bit more personal. You all don't need to know when my bills are due or how much my bill is. So I think I'll keep it a little bit separate. So here I will just write down what bills are due this week and then any calls, emails, again, personal information. I don't really want to share on social media um, to buy errands. And then um, I will use this weekly view like I currently use my horizontal where I'll just kind of list all the things I need to do. So there may be some crossover between what comes over here and what ends up in the socialite. Um, we'll just have to see. So I've got that laid out all the way till March. And then after that, as you can see, I have not used the Miss Maker Planner. It is set aside. I did take her cover and I did take some of her accessories, but I'm not using that planner this year. I think that Super Mom and Socialite will fit my needs. But I will hang on to Miss Maker because I definitely think um, I will have use for her at some point. So here we've got my budget planner section and I have put some expense sheet um, trackers back here. Let's see if you can see those. So I've put some expense trackers. I've got a 2018 calendar back here that I'm currently using and this actually has all of my expenses and their costs and I've got them divvied up into like monthly, quarterly and annual, annually. And I figure what I do is I will transfer this onto something better. And then um, these are just pages that I want to transfer over and do a little bit better. I've got my um, debt tracker here. I don't mind you seeing a glimpse of that. It doesn't really have any personal information. I've got um, my three to six months savings of expenses tracker started. And then I've got a savings tracker. And then I just pulled over a few things. Um, here is kind of my calendar that is like a catch all where I have all my bills just kind of written out in the order they occur. And some of these I'm going to redo. I may start budget planning. I haven't decided yet on whether I want to film that or not. So then I've got this sticky note sheet. Um, it is the super mom. So it's got all the sticky notes a super mom will need. Any mom. And then I pulled the extra tab from Super Mom, Tired as a Mother. I just thought it was gorgeous. And behind this tab, I have some of my extra note pages. So I've got my little half sheet note pages. I've got my, um, let's see, what else do I have? I've just got a couple of each of the note sheets that I have. I've got my Get Focus sheet here. I've got my daily schedule sheet. Anything I thought I might want to grab and have with me on the go, um, a traveling half sheet, project sheet, and I just kind of grabbed one in each color. And then I've got a few hourly sheets in here. And let's see what else. I do have more. I've got the uh, so many things line sheet. Like I said, just trying to get a little bit of all my extra sheets that I have because this way I have them on the go with me when I want to use them. All right, um, we've got our Miss Maker sheets back here with the beautiful gold foiling. See those? A little bit. My camera angle is not in my favor today. So, and then more of our Miss Maker, the Make Do sheets, um, Happy Notes. And then I did pull some of the extra sheets from the back of the planners. Again, I think this is gonna be a chore sheet. 
haven't exactly decided, but I think so. Now I didn't pull any from Miss Maker because I don't think I have any big projects coming, but if I do, I know where they're at. And then back here, I'll just go ahead and show you. I've got some of the divided like page protectors in here. I just store some different sticker sheets that have not been sorted or that I think I might need on the go. Like, you know, I've got some habit trackers here. I figured those would be good on the go. And then over here, most of these are the um, point stickers, or they're point cards I'm earning through different Etsy shops. So like, I'll give you an example. Here's um, Chloe Collectives that's no longer Chloe Collectives. I was collecting the little bows, I'm one away. So I just keep all those in my planner from now on. And then I've also got some just little cute things that I like to look at tucked back here. And then we've got lots of little samplers that I refuse to use. And then if anyone bought into the Happy Planner um, rolls they had, I actually went and I cut some of them out and placed them back here so that I don't have to carry a roll with me, but I do have them. So I've got like, you know, the chore list and to do and meeting and appointment, all those. And then I did get the expense trackers or I got the socialite dashboard and the super mom dashboard. And so I um, decided to put those back here. So I took the expense one because I liked it. And then I took the family calendar one. And for this, what I am doing is I've got me, this will be my daughter's, this will be my fiance's and then holidays. And I'm just writing in anything. So like my birthday is gonna be on a Monday. I'll be off work on a Tuesday. Um, his birthday is going to be on a Tuesday. So this is just anything. Um, I'm not using it week by week. I'm using it as a year at a glance of just writing what day something's going to fall on. And then I have not added them in yet, um, but I do have them here. So I am going to add in the meal planner here um, that's got the grocery list on the back. And then I am going to add this little pre-planning one in the back. And I can just kind of write things as they come up. So that is how I have Franken planned the Miss Maker, or excuse me, didn't really use the Miss Maker. That is how I Franken planned the Super Mom and the Socialite Planner to meet my needs best. So um, I'm going to see how this works for me. Hopefully, this will be a great compromise to carrying so many planners. Granted, I will still use my student planner just for school. I will still use my wedding planner just for my wedding, but I really wanted to eliminate trying to juggle carrying around my two Erin Condren planners. It was getting a little too heavy on my shoulder. Kudos to all of you that do it. I just can't handle it anymore. So here is me making the switch to this for 2019, and I will definitely be sure to do some plan with me's and let you know how it's going. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.